Hello guys, Vortex here, and today we are doing yet another Terminator video. Since I made the T70 model video, I have been getting tons of support and people saying that I should make another one. And the latest suggestion was for me to make a video about the T900 model. So, here we go. Now, the T100 model is a type of Terminator that was mass-produced by Skynet, and the T900 is the successor to the T850, which is the armed model from the third movie. I don't really make much difference between the 800 and the 850 and the 888. There ain't much difference, just small ones, so I ain't gonna talk about those. But, the T900 was the uh, uh, successor to the uh, 850 or 800, and sort of served, served as a bridge between the uh, living tissue models and the polymetic al uh, alloy models. And as for its uh, specific functions, there were several variants of this model, and among those are the standard model without living tissue, which basically served as the main foot soldier, and then we have the infiltrator, which, which served as, well, yeah, obviously covered in uh, living tissue and often featured in the standard uh, TechCon uh, uniforms. Then we have the support class, which had, uh, which often carried around a bunch of ammunition to supply other Terminators in battle. And then we have the heavy version, which is much like the support version in build, but it also carried technology and equipment to coordinate HK strikes, and they also carried heavy plasma cannons. Now, according to the Terminator wiki page, uh, determining which version is canon remains difficult. However, the original T900's design is a glowing red chest plate since it features plasma-oriented uh, reactor cores instead of nuclear-based ones, which is their explanation for them glowing in certain colors. The standard and canonized version of the T900 has a red glowing design, while the uh, T900 easter egg or cameo in Rise of the Machines has a blue glowing chest plate. Now, about this cameo, a lot of people don't know about it. I understand that since it's very missable. It floats by the scene extremely fast, but here is a quick shot of it so you can see that there is a fact a cameo of this model in Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. Now, let's talk about some strengths and weaknesses of uh, this model. Obviously, its strengths vary from having a much more potent alloy than the 800 models, and if you look at the imagery, you can clearly see that these models are a lot more covered up and a lot more tight fit than the 800 models, so it's much harder to damage these models since its joints are a lot more covered up and yeah. As for weaknesses, I would have to say that despite its increased capabilities, the 900 has appeared to be particularly inefficient and otherwise inferior compared to the T850 model, which is an older model. This is possibly biased though since in the game well, you're supposed to plow through the enemies, but well. One possibility is that these T900s had little combat experience compared to the battle-hardened T850s. In addition, their CPUs may also have been set to read only, allowing Skynet more control over them, but at the same time limiting their ability to learn. And this is a pretty common theory that the main battle units in the future have limited capability since Skynet's uh, Skynet shuts down their learning capabilities in order to control them remotely most of the times. When Skynet sends them off uh, on missions on their own, or even through time, Skynet sets them to a mode of learning, which is explained in the extended scene in Terminator, uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Personally though, I still prefer the 800, 850, 888 models, since, well, the original stays the best in my opinion, you can't beat that design, it's flawless. But this gives a nice and decent update and shows how the transition from the 800 even up to the TX sort of looks like, because this sort of looks like a, 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 a cross between the TX and the uh, the 800 model. So I love this design of the T900. It's a decent design and I think it's pretty cool. And I, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. All the information about the T900. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. And if you want to, please feel free to put down in the comments if you want me to review another model, I will be happy to do it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.